Let's uh, get to the very latest uh, in regard uh, to uh, this is the Karnataka High Court that has dismissed uh, uh, the plea of uh, Karnataka's Chief Minister Siddharamaya. And Siddharamaya has gone on to say that he will not hesitate uh, to investigate. He has also gone on to say that uh, he will uh, decide on the outline of uh, the legal fight as far as the case is concerned. And it is Siddharamaya who has gone on to say that he is being targeted. And the reason that he is being targeted is because of his fight for social justice. He's gone on to say that truth will finally win this fight, the fight against re this is revenge politics of the BJP, while he continues to believe in law as well as the constitution and he's confident that the truth will be out. So to get more on this, we have my colleague uh, Pratibha joining us. Uh, Pratibha, uh, get us the reaction of Siddharamaya who's gone on to uh, say that he does believe in the law and the constitution and he is very confident that the truth will prevail. Well, in fact, uh, this is a stand that he's been maintaining ever since the Muda allegations uh, came out. And here he has uh, gone on to mention that he would be discussing with the legal experts, reading the entire order copy, and then he would plan his uh, legal recourse. What we hear so far is that uh, there could be an option of uh, knocking the doors of uh, the Supreme Court to fight this. But before that, uh, the chief minister did mention that this is nothing but political conspiracy and a plot that has been hatched by both the Narendra Modi government as well as uh, the JDS here. Uh, both of them trying to see how they could uh, destabilize this government, especially considering the fact that the Congress has been uh, winning with its guarantee schemes and has also secured 136 seats, which is a sweeping majority as far as the recent assembly election in Karnataka is concerned. And uh, that has been one of the uh, points of contention for the opposition leaders, and that is precisely why they have been talking about uh, these Muda allegations. It's a stance that uh, the chief minister has maintained. However, what we also hear is that at 3 p.m. there would be a press conference that will be held by the chief minister as well as the senior leaders of the Congress party today where uh, all eyes are on the kind of um, legal recourse that, uh, or the options that they would be trying out and what would be their strategy. And also in terms of the investigation that uh, has been lined up ever since the verdict that has come out, uh, how he would be cooperating with the investigation is also something that needs to be closely watched. Right, and uh, he has, of course, uh, you know, gone on to say he's not just confident uh, that uh, truth will prevail. He has also gone on to say that he will not hinder the investigation. He will consult with experts whether such an investigation is allowed under law or not, while saying that he has full faith in the law and also that the people of the state are behind him. Pratibha. Yes, sir. He, is also, he has also gone on to say that he is a pro poor uh, a politician and that uh, in his um, 40 uh, years of political career, he has managed to retain that reputation of having built and uh, introduced a lot of schemes that have helped the poor and that is precisely uh, what has irked the opposition leaders who have gone on to um, bring about these kind of allegations which are baseless is also something that he has maintained. He has uh, said that he would be uh, he wouldn't be uh, hindering with the investigation, but at the same time has pointed out that we would be looking at whether these kind of investigations can really proceed according to the law or not. Now, the legal experts, along with them, the kind of discussions that he would be holding, number one, is whether the investigation can be fought or not. And number two, uh, what kind of legal options that he could be trying out. And number three would be, um, whether uh, this would affect his continuance as the chief minister or not. These are the three things that the Congress has been trying to work out. In fact, all the senior leaders have been huddled in a meeting at his uh, residence. Um, in a couple of minutes from now, we will be waiting to hear from the chief minister himself, who is all set to address the media.